Hi everybody, my name is Rosa Librada Ariza Vázquez and today we're going to talk about challenging behaviors in early childhood settings. Um, in this presentation, we're going to focus on the definitions, cause and characteristics for an inclusive approach. So let's start with the index and table quarter of the presentation content. In this presentation, we're going to talk about challenging behavior definitions, challenging behavior in the current easy, easy services team, characteristic of the challenging behaviors, cause of the challenging behaviors, how to manage challenging behaviors in easy, easy settings, proactive strategies and practice, um, practice to prevent challenging behaviors, challenging behaviors and influencing children behaviors, and we're going to end up with the conclusions and the reference. So starting with the challenging behavior definition, we got that a child's behavior can be considered to be challenging when it is harm, harmful to the child himself and to the and or to the peers and adults around him, her, as well as if this behavior is preventing them to achieve diverse daily and general outcomes such as develop, developing the relationship within the peers and adults and progressing on the academic journey. Challenge behavior is a pretty bold and wide term that encompasses attitudes, actions, and behaviors such as throwing things, self-harming, hitting, kicking other people, and throwing tantrums between others. The intensity that spurs the continuity of this kind of behavior through time is a crucial factor in order to consider for a behavior to be challenging. So, challenging behavior the current is in childcare settings. When the disruptive behavior obstructs the harmonic development of the learning practice and lenses, the challenging behavior of the child could be diagnosed as behavior problems such as conduct disorder, oppositional desafiant disorder, along with children that present difficult behavior as a result of the health issues and development on developmental conditions as per the case of children diagnosed with autism and spectrum disorder and ADHD, anxiety or depression. There are also social factors implied that can cause children to demonstrate this is disengagement behavior over the learning educational context. In addition, this is also important for educators to work collaboratively with other colleagues and professionals such a behavior is first in order to address the behavior situation successfully. In this table, we present um, a summative of the um, challenging behaviors being divided between low level disruptive be challenging behavior, disengaged behaviors, and aggressive and or antisocial behaviors. So for low-level disruptive um, challenging behaviors, you can see some examples such as making disruptive noises, unnecessarily, mo unnecessarily moving around the space and environment, and being constantly out of the seat. For disengaged behavior, they are like more like a passive and no participation in routine in, in the routine learning experience or being constantly absent from school, the tension levels are, drop, are low and drop. For aggressive and antisocial behaviors, we got some examples such as no compliance with the learning environment rules, displays no willingness and refusal to cooperate, verbal and social bullying of peers, and such as name calling, and etc. So for us educators, it's important to ask ourselves the questions, what is this behavior trying to tell us? Next, we're gonna talk about the characteristics of the challenging behaviors. According to the information shared or present in Thompson and Camper, educators' recognition of the children's clues or signs of distress is crucial in order to interrupt the escalating cycle of challenging and disruptive behavior. There are some observable preliminary clues and signals that can indicate to educators' children's challenging behaviors. One of them is the increasing movement. 
children will drop from one group to another and move them between the group of birds. And another one, children display signs of uh, agitation. Several signs of agitation display that there is an indicator of a potential challenging behavior that can escalate fast. Educators play an essential role in recognizing the signs, being able to take early action, so the behavior is willing to be managed in a more effective way. On the contrary, if those signals are overlooked, the behavior can escalate quickly, involving another person, adult or pair with it, becoming harder to address and deal with. Regarding the cause of the um, challenging behaviors, there are no one simple cause and effects model that explains disruptive and challenging behaviors. Children that are often exposed to emotional concerns, social cultural pressures, and mental health issues can externalize frustration and despair as a challenging behavior. Therefore, educators should consider challenging behaviors a multifaceted issue linked to a complex set of social ecological factors. Unemployment and domestic violence are some examples of social factors that can impact children interactions, behavior boundaries, and attendance within the child care setting. Alternatively, these same concerns, pressures, and issues might be internalized and manifest for children as an anxiety or worry, and living equally and potentially in a different set of challenging behaviors. Those are the reasons why educators' processes and strategies so that children will be versed and challenging behaviors cannot be dictatorial, as no two behaviors' problems will be identical and originated from the same issues, resulting in a range of behavioral issues experienced within the learning environment. Therefore, educate, as educators, this is important that we consider the systematic precursors to problem behavior and be prepared to take a deep and meaningful look at the context within which children live and learn. On the other hand, personal issues including mental health problems, physical disabilities, learning difficulties, and can influence the overall appropriateness of children's conduct as well as social cultural diversity can bring stressful conditions when children trying to fit in and cope with the childcare environment expectations. Social and emotional well-being are important aspects for, of mental health, and this has been demonstrated that children with a strong sense of social well-being are more likely to choose appropriate behavior develop and maintain positive relationships and engage in goal-oriented behavior that contribute towards academic success. Regarding the um, challenging behavior and its influence in children's development, and as, as it was addressed before, children's emotional and social well-being is directly related and link with the behavior and conduct displayed. There are some difficulties that children might experience with displaying challenging and disruptive behavior, and these are also linked and contributed to the, to the causes of the behavior difficulties. Some of them are self-regulation of physical activity, thoughts, and or emotions, effective language, as the understandable language and expressive language as the ability to use language and communicate needs and wants to others. Executive function, which is their whole high order reasoning and thinking skills, emotional control, as we mentioned before, social interactions that is appropriate and reciprocal in nature with both same age pairs and adults, and planning and sequencing tasks or activities. The link between social and mental well-being and academic success can also be found in the National Safe School Framework. This important resource for developing well-being and safety for all the children identifies provision of a safe and supportive school environment, which is essential for, for children's well-being and academic learning. 
For children who display challenging behavior, but also emphasizing the, inti the integrity and rights of the other children, for enjoy and participate in a learning environment free of stressful situations and potential negative behavior towards them. As well, the Melbourne Declaration on Educational Goals for Young, young Australians clear, clearly identifies the crucial role that the learning environment childcare settings have in the development of social and emotional well-being in children. In recognition of the importance of social well-being, the Kids Smart Framework was introduced as a government initiative to promote a mental health in primary schools and LA education centers. Many schools throughout Australia have introduced Kids Smart as a way for educators, parents, and carers to assist children to learn how to effectively manage the social and emotional challenges they encounter. On his side, the LA New Year's Learning Framework, along with the NQS from NASEQA, between his principal practices, practices and standards, supports a holistic approach to children, emphasizing the development of social emotional skills and lifelong skills in children and crucial role in the overall children development. So taking this information into account, how can educators manage challenging behaviors within the easy, easy settings? To improve the learning experience flow and the success of all children, educators need to work in world-class expectations, behavioral accommodations, and individual behavioral plans that reflect the understanding of children's behavioral trends. Children who are actively engaged in the learning and see this purposefully and meaningful are less likely to become bored, distraught, and disruptive. Same way with educa when educators are adaptive, innovative, and creative, which lends for children to be more involved in learning act activities and experience and less likely to display problem behaviors. Therefore, providing opportunity for active children engagement is a focus for educators as per the current trend in the 21st century learning. Refocusing behavioral policies and educators' practice to account for these factors can help to facilitate children engagement and minimize unproductive, challenging classroom behavior. Positive relationships contribute towards a feeling of belonging as well as an involvement in the learning environment community. This rich feature sorry, indicates that social well-being can be linked to positive academic outcomes as well as our mental, con mental health contributing to the prevention of the display of challenging behaviors. Early interventions are as well play a a key role in this area, there is, as I was saying, early intervention plays a key role in this area. There is a recognition of the positive influence of early social and emotional well-being on later mental health. One of the key strategies is to suggest for early childhood educators to provide a safe and supportive learning environment where young children can learn and develop social skills that will assist them to manage their own behavior. It also stressed the importance of early recognition of social and emotional difficulties that might prevent children from engage, engaging in the learning environment. Promoting positive children engagement. Using positive strategies that focus on children engagement rather than punishment is the best approach for managing children behaviors. Key steps for improving children engagement include creating a support child-centered learning environment and development and encourage child educators and peers relationships. Positive children engagement. One of the best approach for promoting positive children engagement is the positive behavior support framework. framework. This framework framework, sorry, of first a way of understanding how the class environment, children diversity, and educators' pedagogy come together to influence 
children engagement and improve classroom behavior. The positive behavior 